Hello, welcome to another laser video. This time I tried to show you a new model I got from Neji to test. It's Neji Master 2 Mini with 10 watt laser model. As every package I got from Neji also this one is packed extremely well. In the box we find block of protective sponge additionally wrapped with foil. Inside of sponge you can find completely pre-assembled engraver Neji Mini, green protective glasses, 12 volts 2 amp power supply and accessories bag where you can find the green focus plate, USB cable, power switch cable which can plug between power supply if you want, one testing piece of wood, two testing piece of cardboard and multi-language manual. Neji Mini really is mini, especially finger size 10 watt laser model. Nuts for X axis wasn't tightened, so it came unscrewed around the package. Let's try to fix that. Look like I know something wrong, but now we can check it a bit closer. Base is designed same as a Neji 2, only smaller. 15 by 30 aluminium extruded profile, 21 cm long. Attached on front and rear acrylic leg with rubber pads to prevent slipping. It also got holes for mounting with angles, which wasn't come with that version. Also, why carriage is made out of acrylic. It got four wheels, two grooved and two hole, so the belt can run over them. Belt is attached on boot legs, so after time we can easily tighten them on one or other side. Below the carriage is Y stepper motor and motherboard, which is protected with another piece of acrylic. X axis is designed pretty same as on AG2. It has acrylic base plate with stepper motor and 50 by 15 extruded profile attached on it. On the end is aluminium plate with pulley on it, where you can tension the belt, which is endless, so it just hooked on the carriage, which is also made out of 5mm acrylic and got three grooved wheels. The difference here is that the carriage is behind the extrude profile and then with long spacers laser model is attached on the other side of profile so the weight is balanced and got less side force to the wheels. Motherboard is designed so it come all around the Y motor to take as little space as possible. From the side is USB and strong power plug because also this model pulled the cables behind by Y axis. On top of the board we only got X and Y limit switch and laser port. Below is all the component, offline button and port for X and Y stepper motor. I noticed that there is a bit less component on it than on AJS and AJS Max 32 bit board I got here. That's because it only got one microcontroller, so it cannot work with any GRBL software like Lightburn, but only work with AJ software. An AJ Mini is new machine and as I know AJ already developed 32 bit board also for their Mini. Then there's a laser model. It's specific 10 watt laser model with 2.5 watt optical power. It's specific because of its size and weight. It's 10 watt and size only 25 by 25 by 55 mm. White 3.5 watt model is 30 by 30 by 70 mm. 10 watt weight only 57 grams, while 3.5 watt weight over 120 grams. It's really small and light for its power, but more about that in some other video where I compare different AJ laser models from 2.5 to 40 watt. Also the cables are different than on other AJ machines. On AJ2 we got flexible round cable for the laser model. Here just 4 wire flat cable, because X working area is only 11 cm so I think it should work just fine. On X axis base plate we got holes a bit bigger than the screws, so we got some space to set them. If we want to engrave 100% perpendicular, simply engrave some square shape and measure boot diagonal, then set the X axis until they are the same length. The laser model is attached to a long screw and spacer, so also then we can mount a bit angled. It's not so important for engraving, but anyway for the best result put some right angle next to it before tightening. Treat on 10 watt laser model isn't on same distance as on other lasers. But the X-axis carriage already got prepared holes for other lasers, so we can easily mount 3.5 or 7W laser model on them. For 20W wasn't sure if it can hold without mounting the entire machine. Ok, now plug the laser to power supply and USB cable to PC and then go to NJ Wiki. Select the model NJ Mini and download the driver and install them. Then download also the last version of NJ app. By the way, there is almost every week new version. On that side you can also find lot of useful information. I already talked about Neji software in two other Neji videos, but just a quick review. When you start the app, machine instantly go to zero position. And here we are. 
In left corner we got info tap. Software recognizes which model we got and automatically adjusts size of working area. There's also primary version and laser temperature. Because this 10W laser model is very small and it's also the hottest one, it go a bit over 40 degrees Celsius, but never over 50. In the tutorial tab we can access to the Wiki website, but temporary not working. In the photo gallery we can find bunch of photos, which are constantly being added. If we click on any one, new window will appear, where we can cut the image. Click OK and set size you want. Whether we change the height or width, the ratio will always remain the same. Click OK and come to another window, where we select type of engrave. Grayscale is not possible for that exact image. In the fourth step we can add text, rotate, flip or reverse the image. Click OK and come to Control tab. Now it's time to set focus with using green focus plate. If you go to settings we can set the idle brightness for easier focus setup. In the settings we can also change the sensitive of motion sensor and motor speed. When focus is set, click the frame button so the laser shows us the position of engrave. Then just click and drag the image or use button for more accurate position. And then set also two most important settings, laser power and burning time, which means how much time each pixel will be burned. Shortly it's speed settings. Before hit the play button, put on the protective glasses, because every laser is danger to our eyes. When we click start, entire code is sent to machine, so we can unplug the USB and laser still finished its work, but still can change the settings like burning time and laser power online, which is great on that software. And the last uploaded code we can burn later anytime, anywhere, without a PC, but with using offline button. If we right click into control tab, we can add any image, or just drag it in. Ok, here we can set grayscale type of engrave. Here we can also open NC or DXF file, or using CNC tab on top. If you want just engrave some text, right click and insert text. We got here scanning mode so it fill the letters, or G code mode, which follow the outer lines of letters. Great function to cut some stickers. That's it about software. I tried to connect also with Lightburn, but doesn't work because there are no GRBL microcontroller on motherboard. Ok, let's make some tests. Firstly I tried to engrave two same grayscale image on soft spruce wood, with different settings. Then here you can see the difference between 25% laser power 50 milliseconds burning time and 20% laser power 10 milliseconds burning time. Then I engrave grayscale image size 90 by 50 mm and it need about 37 minutes to finish, with motor speed set it to fast. On top you can see the line because I lower down the laser power during engrave. I won't talk about settings for each result, because best way to get right settings is making tests on each material you want to engrave or cut. Just engrave small image and during engrave try to change laser power and burning time, until you get the result you want. Then leave that settings and run normal size engrave on piece you want. But there's one simple rule on engraving, with lower laser power and longer burning time it engraves slower, but with much more details. Then what model works just like I imagined. It's better for engrave like 20 or 30 watts, so I try to replace model with 3.5 watt one. It's a bit tricky because I got old 3.5 watt model with integrated cable, and on mini it's a bit hard to unplug without disassemble it. Anyway, here we can see the difference. 3.5 watts still show much more details and engrave deeper black than any other more powerful laser. It's quite good for deep engrave, but depends a lot on type of wood we use. I got pretty nice result also on leather, engraving can't cutting, but need to clean the black dust with alcohol after it's done. Also anodized aluminium make nice engrave, but it's strange, on blue anodizing make white engrave, while on red make black engrave. But on anodized aluminium sheet I buy specially for laser engraving didn't leave any traces. On inox I got much better and permanent result with 20 watt laser model. Into plastic engrave like hot knife into butter. And then I try also a bit of cutting, with using improvised tear assist. Also here I got expected result, its power is somewhere between 3.5W and 20W model. It can cut 3mm plywood in only 4 passes, but can't cut more than 
to 4mm deep. Cut Attach is more black than on other laser models, and it's the worst model for cutting balsa, it burns it really quickly. I tried to cut MDF material, but it only marked it as every other lasers, except 30W which can cut also 3mm MDF easily. Materials like thick paper, fleece and sponge cut without problem, like every other models. That's pretty much it about Neji Mini. The entire machine and laser model is really small for its power. 10W model is some middle power, good for engraving and cutting, but not best neither for cutting, neither for engraving. With a small working area I think it's more suitable for engraving, so honestly I wish it come 2.5 or 3.5W model with machine, which is best for engraving and still possible to cut some thicker paper. We say it can't work with GRBL software so far, so we can choose from NJ software or NJ app control via Bluetooth, which work just fine without any delay. If I compare with NJ2 it is smaller, but on NJ2 it can mount any laser model up to 40W, got bigger working area and got GRBL controller on motherboard, but the price difference is only about 50 bucks. So if you ask me, if you don't get free space crisis, there's no doubt which model to buy. One of the advantages of MINI is supposed to be its speed, because laser model is light and can handle bigger speeds, but if I set the motor speed to very fast, engraver become very nervous, work with lot of vibration and the X motor lose steps, like every other machine on that settings. They need to fix motor acceleration into firmware. X and Y stepper motor are the same size as on all other Neji machines. But the Mini is much smaller and lighter, so it's the only model which can engrave in any direction. Here I try offline engrave vertically, supplied by 3S LiPo battery. Another pros of the Mini is silence of the fan, it's temperature controlled, but even when working with full power it's almost unheard. Now that's it about Neji Mini. Machine really is small, but with some cons compared to Neji 2, Plus or Max models. But on the other side it's the cheapest NJ model and still offer much more like some housing type engravers machine, for example CNC cutting. For more info links to my other laser videos, order, price, check into video description section. In the future videos I'll show you the difference between 8 and 32 bit motherboard and 40 watt laser model review, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.